Let's go to the next section. <laughs> okay, how come saying go to the next section is laughing? Why do you guys laugh about that? You won't be laughing whenever you see that we were going to be subtracting <laughs> integers. Here's something I need you to understand about subtraction. Subtraction is a form of addition. Okay? In case you guys didn't know that. Subtraction is really a different form of addition. It's basically a mutation of addition. What I do though is when we do subtraction, we always convert it back to addition. Okay? I know it sounds crazy, but you just need to trust me. Okay? Now we've already talked about opposites, right? Mm -hmm. And how the fancy phrase for that is additive inverses. We need opposites in order to, in order to subtract. Okay? So Here's the easiest way, the best way I can describe this for you. You can look and see what they have in the book, but I think a lot of times it just overcomplicates things. To subtract, we will add the opposite. To subtract, we add the opposite. Okay. Now, what I want us to do is I want us to compare the following so you can see that what I'm saying here is not just a bunch of fluff, it's not magic. If I say seven minus three, it's child's play, seven minus three is what? Four. Now, what if I look at seven plus negative three? We were just talking about adding numbers that had opposite signs. What's seven and a negative three? Four. So four, right, you're up at seven, but when you go down three, you're still at a positive four. Do you all agree? Yes. This says subtraction, right? Mm -hmm. We're subtracting three. This is adding the opposite of three. And we still get the same answer, right? If I have 10 minus six, well, that still is four, right? Mm -hmm. If we look at this as 10 plus, what's the opposite of six? Negative six. What's ten and a negative six when you add those guys? Positive four. I need you to start training your brain to see things a little bit differently. When you guys see this, you probably read this as I'm doing subtraction, right? I don't read this as subtraction, and I want you to kind of stop reading it that way as well. I want you to know that when you see this, you should be seeing this. Not that we will be writing this. We won't be writing stuff like this for very long. If you look at the way the book has some things written, they have a plus sign and they have a negative sign immediately after that. And that to me is confusing. You see like a plus and then a minus, I don't like that. It makes me want to vomit. <laughs> I look at this and I see, I have a positive 10, yes? Right. And then what's the other number I see? If I'm trying to put together a, a 10 and a negative six, I know that my 10 is the larger absolute value and it's positive, so my answer will be, positive. So a 10 and a negative 6, that's how I see that. When I see this, in my mind, I'm really thinking this. I'm rewriting in my mind subtraction in terms of addition. If I have this, negative 4 minus 3. How'd you get negative 7? Two negatives is a positive? No. Whoa! So you're telling me that if I write a check for 20 and I write a check for 30, I just put $50 back into my bank account. That's not what I meant, Mr. Craig. Of course it's not. It never is. What do you see here? Negative. You lost four, right? And then what did you do? Negative. You lost three. So what happened altogether? You lost seven, yes? <coughs> we can also say that this is negative four plus what? So you're really adding negatives just like I showed you. And you do get the negative seven. Do y'all agree with that? It takes practice. You need to practice this stuff. Just watching me do problems is not going to be good enough for you. You have to get your hands dirty. 
You've got to sharpen your pencils. Have a good eraser and practice, practice, practice. I feel like I just can't stress that enough. So let's see if you guys can handle subtraction. I'm going to give you some problems to simplify, and I want to see what you guys can do. Remember, to subtract, you're adding the opposite. If I have 11 minus 5, now I could see that for exactly what that is. It's 11 minus 5, right? So what should the answer be? 6. Now I said I want you to see this in terms of addition, right? So you may write this if you want to, but it's not necessary. You can see that this is a positive 11, right? Mm -hmm. And I can see this guy is what? Negative. A negative 5. So if I see this as a gain of 11 and a loss of 5, where do I end up? Overall with a gain of 6. Do you all agree? You gain 11, you lose 5, you've gained 6. That's your net gain. If I have 9 minus 15, like we were trying to say before, what do you see here with this guy? Positive. That's a positive 9. What do you see with this guy? It's a negative 15. So if you saw those two numbers, you saw that in your bank account, or you saw that on someone, you know, someone's doing like a biggest loser challenge at their work. You gain 9, you lose 15. What's bigger, the gain or the loss? The loss is bigger. How much bigger is that than the gain? It's bigger by 6, right? So what's your answer here? Negative 6. If I rewrite this and I add the opposite like I was showing you guys, positive 9 and a negative 15 is negative 6. Do you agree? Yes. If you have questions, this is a great time to ask, because then they can go on YouTube. So what's the point of changing it? That is a very good question. What is the point of changing that? So, Lisa, see, there's a shout out to you. <laughs> if that's even your real name, just making that name up, if I have negative 3 minus a negative 10, I hear a positive 7. How is that? That's negative. Add a negative. Timing ne uh, times negative. So you're looking at this as, if I cover this up, yeah. this is negative negative, right? Mm -hmm. If you take away a loss, right? Think about that. If you take away a loss, that's as though somebody has given that back to you, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you lost 10 bucks at the casino. But then the casino says, you know what, I'm going to take that away from you. You didn't actually lose $10. So, oh, it's like you got $10 back, right? Of course, that doesn't happen, right? But if I look at this as turn this into addition, right, I want to add the opposite. What's the opposite of this guy? A positive 10. So a negative 3 and a positive 10 is what? It's a positive 7. That's why I may want to rewrite this. Lisa, if that's your real name. But I don't have to. When I have negative, when I'm subtracting a negative, you do want to rewrite. However, if I have this, if I have negative 2 minus 7, we may not have to rewrite this. What's negative 2 minus 7? It's negative 9. How can we get there? Cover this up. You have a negative 2, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a negative, negative 7. So I'm asking you to combine these guys. So what's going on behind the scenes, and if you want to write it, you can. This is a negative 2 combined with a negative 7. And that's how we get the negative 9. What do you guys think? You seem unhappy. Or do you have questions about how I got that? Are you afraid that I'm going to call your name out again? 
Don't worry, Jennifer. You'll be fine. So what about 5 minus negative 4? See, I want to say, I want to give you a nice shot of him. For, so Atlanta gives me 9. Is she right? Yes. yes. When you have minus a negative, I would take the opportunity to go ahead and change this to make this add the opposite. What's the opposite of negative 4? Positive. Positive 4. When I see that, I think it's very clear to us it's just 5 plus 4 and that's just 9. Okay. So when you're subtracting a negative, I would rewrite it. However, if I have negative 15 minus 17, am I subtracting a negative here? No. No, I basically, I've got two negatives I'm combining together, right? I have negative 15 and I have negative 17. So combining two negatives through addition gives you what? A larger okay. negative number and 15 and 17 combined to give you 32. Do you all agree with that? Signs, signs, everywhere signs, right? Blocking up the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the signs? I guess not. I think the problems are too easy, right? You want to know when will it be difficult. <laughs> so, if I have 5 minus 12 plus negative 12 minus negative 9. I've got four numbers here. I need to get a good idea about what kind of numbers I have. Are they positive? Are they negative? Now, we said before that if we're doing subtraction, we could just see that as you know, a negative number, unless we're subtracting a negative, right? Mm -hmm. So we might want to rewrite this. And how does this guy get rewritten? Positive nine. That's really a positive 9, right? So look at the numbers that we have here. What is this guy? Mm -hmm. He's a positive. What is this guy really? He's a negative. negative. He's a negative. And this cancel? is. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Do these guys cancel? No. Let's let's isolate this and let's block out everything else. Uh, when we see everything, it can be confusing. So let's do this. We understand this is a really a negative twelve, right? I have a loss of twelve, right? And what comes after that? That is a loss of 12. But I'm adding to that another loss, right? So if you lose 12 and you lose 12, it gets a bigger loss, right? If one of these was positive, like a positive 12 and a negative 12, those would be, there would be opposites. But this is a negative 12 and a negative 12. So you're still going left on the number line, basically? Right, so imagine you're doing this. You start at 5, right? You go left 12 units, so where are you? If you're on the number line and you start at 5 and you go to the left 12 units, are you positive or negative? negative. You're negative, but then you go left some more, right? Even more negative, mm -hmm. but then you get to go to the right 9. Do you think you're going to be positive or negative at that time? Negative. Negative. I got a feeling that it's going to be negative, but let's do the math to see. Now I'm going to rearrange this stuff by doing it this way. I've got a positive 5, and I also have what? Positive 9. Positive nine. Then I have negative a negative 12. And you know what? You see plus a negative 12? That's the same thing as saying minus 12, right? Mm -hmm. If you use different colored pens or pencils, this might help you see, you know, I'm going to use red for negatives. I'm going to use blue for positives or, or whatever. So what's 5 plus 9? That's just 14. 
but what about the negative stuff? I have a negative 12 and a negative 12. That's a negative 24. It's very tempting to do this, to cover up that negative and see 12 minus 12. But do you have 12 minus 12? No, you have a negative 12, and then you have another negative 12. So that gives you a total loss of negative 24. Do you agree? So I look here, I've got a 14 minus 24. But you see how I've got the colors here? I think it kind of helps it stand out as you've got a positive 14 and a negative 24 that are being combined. Who has the larger absolute value, the positive or the negative? The negative. The negative. So my answer must be negative. And what's the difference between 24 and 14? 10. The difference is 10. What questions do you have about that one? You would love to see this on a quiz? Okay, I really don't care about your feelings. You'll see it on the quiz. You, are you okay with how, what I do with the signs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pay attention. Don't let your signs get lost somewhere else. Make sure that your negatives are bold enough that it doesn't look like you just barely scratched it with your pencil. Be very deliberate in everything that you write. Make sure that you have proper spacing. Try to write as neatly as you can, line by line. Use equal signs as well, because I'm saying that this line right here is equal to this line. It means they're the exact same thing, they have the same meaning. It's equal to this guy, which is then equal to your final simplified condensed answer.